In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a wrinkled text effect here in Illustrator. Now, if you make the wrinkles with letters, you're going to have a more difficult time bending these and distorting them in order to actually look decent. So I recommend you to try out with numbers. Numbers are easier, they're rounded. And when you distort these, they can be distorted really good when the shape is more rounded. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is select the type tool, click, I got to go with 043, scale it up, I got to go to the properties and select the inter font. I'm going to go with black, right click, create outline. And as you can see on the number four, the shapes are separated. It's made out of multiple shapes. So I got to go to the properties and click on unite at the pathfinder. And now let's go to the effects, 3D materials. Let's go down to 3D classics and let's select the rotate. And we're going to go to the position, select the isometric top, click OK. Let's go to the object expand appearance and it created this bounding box here so i'm going to right click on group right click release clipping mask so basically you can remove this bounding box so press on delete and we're left with the text so this text is going to be black and we're going to need another text on the top which we're going to distort so this is going to be the shadow so i'm going to press ctrl c and then ctrl f or you can go to edit paste in front it is going to create another copy on the top and i'm going to recolor it I'm going to go with this orange and right click on the text on group so you can select them separately and let's go to the object envelope distort and let's select the make with mesh. I got to go with the rows three and column seven, click OK and select here the direct selection tool, select one of these anchor points and just bring it up and you can distort it like that or you can just select some of these areas here and just do it like that as well. But I'm going to do it here. You're going to need to be really careful because it's going to distort it a lot. So I recommend you to just select one of the anchor points at a time and just distort it like that. So you can go more in details and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to leave the number three as it is. I'm going to go to the layer, open up the layers and I'm going to lock the number three. So when I distort the number four, I won't overlap with. Uh... So if I go to number four, then I won't go on the number three again by accident. So just lock the number that you edited already. And this is how the final result looks like. Thanks for watching.